What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel for this month. So as you can see, this Geek Fuel is different than us as it's super long. Um, so hopefully there is something cool in here as to why it is that long. Um, I've heard this is cool, but I don't know why. So let's hope there's something we enjoy in here. So let's see what we get. Oh, someone stuck to it. Uh, that's weird. Oh, so first up here, oh this is cool. We have our magazine, which is in all the weird red and blue color because it does come with a pair of 3D glasses. So you can put on the 3D glasses and it's like the old, uh, I forget what they call those things. Viewmaster? Yeah, Viewmasters. And uh, so you can do that. So that's kind of cool why it's in a bag and everything. Because I'm like, why did they put this in a bag? But that is cool. Okay, where to start? Uh, so first up we'll start with, looks like, oh this is kind of cool. It's a pack bat. Which is a set of Pac-Man Pac -Man figures shaped like Batman characters, or design, uh, designed as Batman characters. So we have Batman, looks like Joker, Catwoman, Riddler, and Penguin. And I don't know what they are, if they're like magnets or something, but let's go ahead and open it. Um, so, here, so it almost looks like the old I think Adam are. West Batman. Yeah, they are magnets, I was trying to figure out. So these are magnets, so they have a whole thing, so you can just sit them on the uh just like your refrigerator and do like a whole pac-man scene type of thing so of course batman is the pac-man of the set which is kind of been up but we can fix it and so yeah as bro said this is based off the 66 batmans or at least by the look of some of the characters so there is the batman at a wobble 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 or it could be na 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 type thing and then so there's the penguin as we already showed then we have the joker which looks really dirty but maybe that's just the way it looks but it's like dirty face and stuff it's got like dirt all over it so there's the joker then of course my favorite the riddler there and then we got the Catwoman. and so the again they're all all the villains are dressed up as the ghost from pac-man so that's pretty cool like i said it's a magnet set so i mean it's not that cool but with pac-man which i enjoy and batman which i also enjoy mixed together just kind of cool so i really like that so that's awesome uh, next up we have something that's very heavy. It is, so it's supposed to be from Stranger Things, so it's 11 instead of Egos. And so of course it says 11 home style waffles, turn breakfast upside down obviously because of the whole upside down thing. It's got the kids from Stranger Things, which I don't know all their names or anything like that. But it says band together for safety with Kids Club of Hawkins. And so then it's, of course, got all sorts of design. There's supposed to be, like, the nutrition facts, but it's got some other stuff. It's got directions for uh, toasterine or whatever you want to call it. And then some stuff there on the back that you can do. But I'm not exactly sure what this is. Okay, so it's a shirt. I was like, I don't know what this is. It is heavy, so I think there's more than just a shirt in here. Okay, yeah, there's a couple things in here, actually. So that's cool. Um, so first off, we'll start with our shirt, which is a brown shirt, so I already don't really like that. But it's an 11 with the Demogorgon there, so it's um, supposed to be like a playing card, as you see. So it's got 11, and then it looks like a dodecahedron, or whatever we call them, or whatever the shape of dice that is. And so we got 11 there with the waffle, and then the Demogorgon upside down there with the same thing. So that's, um, I like the design of that. I'm not, I've never seen Stranger Things. I've only seen parts of it, so I know stuff about it. But um, to me, this just doesn't interest me at all, this shirt. But I think it looks cool, though. I like that whole design. So let's see what's If next. you think he needs to watch Stranger Things, okay. comment down below. Okay. okay, so I do see why we got in here. So on the back here shows a mug, a shirt, and an air freshener thing. Um, so that's all that comes in here. So next up, we have a waffle air freshener, which I'm dying to know if this really smells like a waffle. I can't really smell it. I'm going to try and open it a little just so I don't waste and stuff to see if it does smell like an air freshener or like a waffle. Oh, it. I would say that's supposed to be a waffle, but it's got a very buttery smell to it. <laughs> so it's like more butter than Ooh. like maple syrup or anything. Um, so it's, it's almost <laughs> like movie theater butter. Yeah, it's like definitely a butter smell to it. And then last up, we have our mug in here is what I assume this to be. It says, Fragile, Handle with Care, sent to um, Chief John Hopper, Hawkins Police Station, P.O. Box number 11, Hawkins, Indiana. So this is kind of a cool thing because we are obviously here in Indiana. So this is, a, I believe, a made-up town here in Indiana that at least I know does, or don't know that exists. And so it says, Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. So I don't know if that's like a saying in the show and stuff. And I, of course, there's nothing on here. Let's see what the box says. Um... Okay, 
I didn't know if maybe if you put like a drink of this, it would like change colors or anything. It does not say anything. I don't see anything on the box. I don't see anything on the Ego box or 11 box. But um, I like that design and stuff on there. So that's just another plain coffee cup, which I mean, we got tons of coffee cups. So another one just added onto it. Tons of coffee cups and we don't drink coffee. Yeah. Uh, so next up we have our pins from the crypt. So this is our pin for the month. It says horror edition, adult collectible, not a toy. I'm going to say... So our feature or things on here we have featured or featuring and we got the Tales from the Crypt uh, Cryptic Rover as it's called Jason Fuel He's the Shriek which I is just the uh, scream or whatever and Hannibot and then the rare is Penny Penny Fuel say Pennywise so of course this is designed like a VHS tape so I like how <laughs> this is cool so it's just like the old VHS boxes with uh, even the whole little cutouts in the side there so you can grab the tape out and so it's supposed to be a Tales from the Crypt um, VHS tape obviously and so it's just designed like that then there's the stuff on the back designed like a VHS tape used to be where they would do just the exact same thing like that and so let's see what we get and so of course here is our VHS tape so this is what it looks like no rewinding required this so they're really uh, packaging this one in tight with different things. So let's see what we get. Uh, there's not really anyone I'd really prefer. The Pennywise would be awesome. But we got, I forget what it's called, Hannibot. So it's Hannibal Lecter, pretty much. Which is cool, because I like Silence of the Lamb. I think it's a cool movie. So there it's just designed after a Hannibal Lecter in his prison outfit with the mouth guard over it. So he doesn't kill or bite people. So again, pins from the crypt, epic and animals. And we got Hannibot or Hannibal Lecter. So that's kind of cool. Once again, they really go overboard with all this packaging, trying to make it like the old stuff, or like old stuff, whatever they design after. That's what they go for. And then our last item out of this box, we have Death by Game Show as our Steam code. So there was what it is. I don't know exactly. I assume you're supposed to be on like some sort of game show and you get killed by stuff, by what it seems like. Again, I've never tried any of those, but I really need to. And so let's look at our car now. So of course, first off, we have our lemon of waffles, which is the shirt there. Which again, it's not bad, but I just don't really. Whoa, care. whoa, whoa! Having an eleven. Why is there a blue one? Um, oh, I guess there is two different colors. It doesn't say so. And this one, the guy's wearing like a blue shirt, and the girl's wearing the brown shirt. So usually that's how they are. So, but uh. I don't know, I guess you could just get either color of the two. It doesn't say anything about it. So that's the shirt. Then, of course, to go along with it, we got the 11 box of waffles with the 11, or the 11 waffle air freshener that smells like butter. So if you want a butter smell, you can get this. We got our coffee mug. The mornings are for coffees and contemplation. So we got that. Then we got our pin, our pins from the crypt, which we got the Hannibal Lecter. And then, of course, our bat, Batman. Bat, pack bat, I can think of what it's called, Batman set, and then of course the Death by Game Show card there. So that was, uh, I really, I'm not sure if there's anything I'm like, think this box is super amazing, but I like the, all the creativity and stuff they put into this, and the different and weird stuff. Um, so bro, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, I really like the 11 and Demogorgon shirt. Uh, I'm not a fan of the chocolate color that it's on. Yeah. If we would have got the navy blue, that would have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, the pin's also cool. Yeah, the Hannibal pin is pretty cool. I really like the um, designs that they do with their little robot mascot. Uh, mine, as I mentioned, is probably going to be the Batman set, just because I like the Batman characters and Pac-Man mixed together. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's look at our magazine real quick. Um, we'll see if we're in here again. Make it a third time. Um, so let's look at this. Oh, I was going to say it'd be cool if I could put this up to the camera and you guys could like see through this, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, I'll just have to do that some other time. So it looks like there's obviously zombies on there because obviously the day I'm recording this is Sunday and it's the um, day of the premiere uh, or whatever, the new season of Walking Dead. Um, so it kind of fits on with the Walking Dead zombies. Um, there's thing about a barber missing on a thing of milk for, of course, uh, Stranger Things. There's some sort of thing about 11 things. Horror games. Oh gosh, they look scary. I don't play horror games. Then we got some really weird... Oh, they're haunted houses all over the country. So there's some haunted houses if you want to go to any of them there. So if they're anywhere around you, you can go to them. 
And then we got, of course, our first item that shows that we got was the Death by Game Show, so there's a thing about that. Then we got our Ultimate Geek, or Gift, yeah, Geek Gift Guide. For, <laughs> the first thing on here is the house that inspired Pet Cemetery. So you can buy the house right there if you want to. So that's kind of weird. Then we got some, of course, all sorts of horror items, a Bates Motel little model kit, an Annabelle doll, Ooh, Walking Dead Survival Guide. Ooh, there's a Sam. One of my favorite characters, Sam, right there. With his big giant head. Ooh, a Halloween print that's scary. Oh, and we are in the box again. So here we are, and we are down here. 3P! Holding up the lion -O pin that we got in there. So this is our third time being in there. And I actually recognize a couple of these people in here, so it's not just me this time. So that's really cool, and again, it's still in the whole 3D thing that we'll have to look at. But that's pretty cool. So that's going to be it for the Geek Fuel this month. That was a big box, and I, like I said, overall, I love the creativity and uniqueness and difference and all the sort of stuff that you threw in there. Of course, with all the Stranger Things, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but that's going to be it for this Geek Fuel for this month of October, so we're celebrating Halloween here. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit that red subscribe button to see more, and we'll see you next time.